Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news that things in Europe seem to be getting worse. The Catalan regional government appears to be using the current weakness in Spain to push for independence. Bond yields rose sharply on these new tensions. The pain in Spain is still rising as austerity bites hard. And in Greece, it is becoming clear that they are far, very far, from meeting the conditions for the next round of funding for their bailout. Something will break somewhere soon. Standard & Poor's are warning of a sharp Euro recession over the next two years at least. Staying in Europe, the British Bankers Association is reported to have been forced to give up the role of administering LIBOR. Not a surprise perhaps given the scandals, but it has happened. The news is better in the US, however. Consumer confidence there has risen to a seven-month high. Their housing market is still gathering strength, according to new data. And an encouraging sign, the gains appear to be spreading even to the cheapest homes in many cities. But a full-blown return to previous conditions is not expected. US stock markets gave up early gains, however, in late trade, as early enthusiasm for these better-than-expected economic reports faded somewhat. In China, there are reports that the central bank there has flooded its domestic market with liquidity, adding more than $50 billion ahead of some expected holiday pressures. Social tensions there as the Chinese economy stutters are a big concern in Beijing. In Australia, a government official has said the obvious, the Australian car manufacturing industry is too small to compete and will soon get integrated into the international supply systems of the big manufacturers. Basically, the Aussies can't afford the subsidies to keep that industry going, and Australian car buyers are paying way over a fair price for their vehicles, and a huge amount more than we pay in New Zealand. The big local news overnight is a report in the Dom Post that ANZ national staff are about to be briefed on the closure of the National Bank, or closure of the National Bank brand at least, and its absorption into ANZ. There is more on this story on our website. The bank itself says no decision has yet been made. The New Zealand dollar starts today at 82.3 US cents, about where it's been for the last two weeks, and 73.1 on the TWI. I'm David Chaston and that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.